this evening's sports report begins with bodybuilding. The creme de la creme of local bodybuilders will be on display at the Grenada Trade Center this weekend at the 2017 Night of the Legends. The annual Mr. Olympia competition will feature some of the top athletes of the sport going up against each other in three categories, bikini, men's physique, and bodybuilding. Main organizer Cecil Mitchell says this is the biggest year of the event so far. Yeah, we have over 50 athletes and what I've seen this year, these guys are much more competitive than any other year. I mean, you have to feel the tension when you're in their presence. They have worked much harder, they have trained harder, they have used more supplements. They have put a lot more effort into the show. And what we've decided as well is that every year we must step the show up one or two notches. So besides the fact that we're bringing in guest poses from the USA, what we have done as well is this year we're bringing in IFBB, International Federation of Bodybuilding Judges. Right? So the standard of the show and the quality would be of a much better standard than the other years as well. Two of the competitors are Linton Jones, who has represented Grenada at regional events, and newcomer Curlin. I represented Grenada in Trinidad and I, I, I must say right now I'm in a far better place than in Trinidad. So I, wanna, I really want to bring it. I really want to bring it at that night of um, the legends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I know the other guys here work pretty hard because it's not an it's not a walkover. It's been my first time, first time doing a show, right? So I started to dad a little bit early because I didn't know much, but so far so good. I think I'm ready. Mr. Mitchell says this year will also include a regional bodybuilder and a local professional in the sport. But this year, um, for the first time, we're bringing in a guest poser. Mm -hmm. His name is Mr. Akim Williams. He's based in the United States of America. He has competed in all the big shows, even in the Olympia. And this year, he's going to grace us with his presence, and he'll be here on Thursday, um, and he'll be putting on a show for us. Um, we bring him back also Mr. Vaughan Francis, IFBB Pro Bodybuilder, who would have uh, represented Grenada um, up to 2012, and he's, he's coming back this year. Hence, we would have named the show the Night of the Legends. Saturday's event takes place at the Grenada Trade Center from 7.30 p.m. Moving to football, defending champs of the Under-19 Boys Division of the Republic Bank Right Start Youth Football Cup, McDonald College clinched a 1-0 victory over Boca Secondary to remain in the runnings to retain the championship title. The game was played at the Queen's Park playing field on Tuesday in one of four matches in the quarterfinal stage of the competition. In other matches played on Tuesday, Grenada Boys Secondary defeated St. Mark's Secondary 2-0, St. Andrew Anglican Secondary edged out Wesley College 1-0, and St. John's Christian Secondary crushed Presentation Brothers College 7-0. Meanwhile, teams found out who they will be up against in the Under-15 Boys semifinals following a draw conducted at Republic House on Tuesday, conducted by the tournament coordinator Finley Fletcher and witnessed by Shaquem Park, a Republic Bank representative. The semi-finals are scheduled for Thursday with kickoff at 3 p.m. and will see GBSS hosting Grenville Secondary at Roy St. John Plain Field, while Grenada Seven-Day Adventist Comprehensive will take on PBC at Plains Plain Field. The 2016 champs, St. Mark's Secondary School, were knocked out by St. Davis Catholic Secondary in the one-game playoff that determined the final two teams entering the Under-15 Boys quarterfinals. The finals of the Republic Bank Right Start Cup takes place next week Friday at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. And finally, in cricket, it is not looking good for the Windward Islands Volcanoes in the 2017-2018 Digicel four-day championship as they stand at the bottom of the six-team table after three rounds of matches. After two losses and a draw, the Windwards could only muster 15.6 points from their three games. Defending champs Guyana Jaguars continue to lead the standings after two wins and a draw with 46.6 points, while TNT Red Force is second Leeward Islands Hurricanes third, Barbados Pride fourth, and Jamaica Scorpions are fifth on the table. The fourth round of matches bowl off on Thursday. Leewards host Jamaica in St. Kitts, TNT Red Force play at home to Guyana, and Winwards take on Barbados in St. Vincent. That's it for GBN Sports. I am Blossom Alexis Welsh.